Jamaat al-Muslim leader Imam Yasin Abu Bakr is expected to give his long-awaited testimony at the Commission of Inquiry into the 1990 attempted coup on Monday, September 3rd. The Commission began its 12th session of hearings on Monday with counsel for the Commission, Senior Counsel Avery Sinanon, revealing that the Jamaat leader will take up the bulk of the session. It is expected, of course, that he will be attending. Um, it is hoped, well, having regard to the central and pivotal role which the Imam played in the, the events of 1990, uh, it is expected that his evidence will really unfold during the course of that entire week from the 3rd to the 7th. The session will also see Acting Commissioner of Police Stephen Williams and Chief of Defence Staff Brigadier Kenrick Maraj give evidence about how security has changed and what is in place now to prevent an insurrection. This will be done in camera. During Monday's evidence, the Commission heard that one month before the 1990 insurrection, Jamaat al muslim leader Imam Ayasin Abu Bakr sought clarification on the now contentious lands at Mukarapa Road. Duraj Ram Dahal, building inspector too with the Port of Spain City Corporation, gave evidence. But he could shed no light on what happened to the response from the corporation to the questions asked by the Jamaat leader and if this in any way played a part in the events of 1990. He says there was some reluctance to demolish the property by the corporation after it learned that the lease issue had not been dealt with by the Jamaat al muslimin The, the issue is that holding our, our, our hands in terms of giving the the Jamaat time to regularize um, on an issue that we have held our hands no. from ever since. For CNC3, I'm Melissa Williams.